All right, let's take a quick but more detailed look at the BNB Miner contract. Okay, but first, as always, once again, I am not a financial advisor. No way, no how. Anything I say or display should not be taken as financial advice. This video is solely for entertainment and educational purposes. Okay, everyone should know I am not responsible for anyone's finances or monies besides my own. I strongly encourage any of you who are out there to do their own research, use prudent discernment, and to make informed decisions always at your own risk. Okay? If you hear me say you or our or we or anything that implies I'm advising any of you out there, I'm not. If at any time you believe I am giving you financial advice, you are mistaking because I am not. I do want to see you happy though. So let's take a look at this beautiful BNB Miner contract here. First off, it says a couple of important things right off the bat. Okay, It's open source on BSC Scan, which we talked about before. So you can track what's going on with it, all the transactions, um, everything about the contract through that third party. It is a rug-free and immutable contract, which means the developer cannot run away with the balance, nor can he or she change the operations of the contract. It's set in stone. Now it says the probability of the contract draining is highly unlikely. And you can see why uh, you, know, you might agree with this. Even if someone were to drop, say, $20 million into this thing for a pretty hefty 3% return every day, during those first 34 days, they're working on getting their initial 20 milli back, right? 3% each day, which should be plenty of time to start pulling out anyone's assets if need be. You wouldn't need to worry about returns because there's now 20 more milli in the contract. But beyond that, the algorithm is built for sustainability. And me not knowing the details of the algorithm, the developer states that it will not allow any single participant to have an unfair advantage over other participants. How does it do this? Uh, well, there could be a number of factors and variables at play here. So it is unbeknownst to me, but regardless, as I mentioned, the balance of the contract continues to climb, okay? Now over 1.8 million from the $1.5 million the other day. When I recorded part 3A of this series, the developer does note that the project favors participants who use the hire more miners button which is the button that takes however much you've got in your barrel from mining and reinvests it into your total balance to increase your daily asset return. This is what we call compounding, which I'll go through in part five. Now it says the three main strategies are to either pocket your assets every day from your initial investment and anything you've added to it since then, two, compound every day and not pocket anything until you're at a comfortable daily asset return for you, for your needs specifically, or a healthy combination of both. So, uh, you know, your personal compounding, pocketing and hiring habits, as well as the community's habits, all influence whether the 3% return goes up or down, okay? So it's important that everyone that's in this is in this together, okay? The developer then assures us that BNB Miner is complete and 100% automated DeFi. So it runs on its own without any operating input from the developer as it's not needed. So it finishes off with a how-to, which I'll be demonstrating step-by-step -step here in just a moment. But I wanna point out that the only fees that the participants pay are gas fees, which are essentially trans transaction fees, when you hire more miners, when you pocket, that kind of thing. But they're very small on the Binance Smart Chain, and I haven't seen any over 50 cents per transaction personally. Now, if someone's only starting out with $10, this might be something to keep in mind, but if they've got thousands in BNB miner, the gas fees are negligible. Now let's get to the actual operations for when I first purchased some BNB miner about two weeks ago. Note that the contract balance is now four times what it was when I did this. All right, we're gonna start back in MetaMask where we've got our $1,000 worth of Binance coin, AKA BNB. Then hit the menu at the top left and select browser. Here, if anyone is kind enough to use my affiliate link, please do, okay? That's www.showus.support, S-H-O-W-U-S dot support. That'll bring us back to BNB Miner, and because someone may have hopefully used that link, we'll put a tiny kickback into the second account I have here dedicated to my nonprofit for mental health awareness. Again, thank you to whoever you are. If I scroll down to the bottom, I'll see my balance shown in Binance Coins, which should equate to what I see uh, when we look on MetaMask. We'll also see the contract balance, which should be the same as what's displayed on BSC scan. When I scroll to the top, I can see I have 0.00, .00 miners doing my mining. Gotta do something about that. So I'll scroll down a bit and see that there's 0.00, .00 feet of assets being dug out and thrown into my barrel every hour. Also something I gotta do something about. And below that, it shows that there's nothing in my BNB barrel and no 24 hour timer has even been started for filling up my barrel. So in one swift move, we're gonna do something about all of that. 
I take a look at my balance and see I have 2.421 BNB or Binance coins in there, right? Now, typically, I personally always want to leave 0.1 BNB in there to pay for gas fees as they come up. But since I'm working with $1,000 here, I'll go ahead and leave a little less. I'm going to type in 2.39 as my BNB coin amount, and it will show me how many miners that will hire for me. And then I'll tap the button to hire over 452,000 miners. This next screen here shows my gas fees for the transaction, which is about 26 cents. And I'm quite all right with that. Okay, so I'll hit confirm to hear that wonderful sound of the miners getting started on my mining. Now I'm gonna reload the page and find that I have those 452,000 some odd miners mining. Digging assets at about 630 feet per hour. And below that, it shows how much BNB I've got mined in my barrel. I also see the 24 hour timer that lets me know when my BNB barrel will be full. Now it doesn't actually get full. It will keep adding to it after that 24 hours, but it suggested that you either pocket or compound after that 24 hours. And that's when it's considered full and you have your full 3%. So let's fast forward a day and see where I'm at. We'll open up MetaMask again and let's take note that we have $12.22 in there now. And then take a look at our BNB miner. It looks like there's one minute left of our 24 hour barrel filling and now we're at zero minutes left. So our barrel is officially full at 0 0.0742 BNB. Now I'll demonstrate first, I can actually pocket the, what should be 3% earnings in to my MetaMask again, which means it's mine to do as I please with, including turning it back into cash if that was my goal. Now, as you can see in our MetaMask, we now have $42.28. Now, if we subtract the $12.22 we had saved in there for gas money, we come out with just about $30, which is to be expected with an investment of $1,000. So it's working quite all right. Now, if I were to repeat this every day for 34 days, I would have 34 days times $30 a day, which is $1,020. But instead, I'm not in any dire need of money to come back to me too quickly, so I can compound it each day for a higher return. And as I mentioned in part 3A, and we'll demonstrate in detail in part five, this can be extremely fruitful. To compound, we go back to BNB Miner, and instead of pocketing our BNB, we hit the Hire More Miners button. That will automatically take the amount of BNB that's in our barrel and reinvest it for us, so we don't have to pocket it and reinvest it ourselves. It's one simple button that does all that work. The more often you can do this, the higher returns you'll have. But working with a small amount of money, definitely be mindful of the gas fees, okay? Once or twice a day seems to be enough for me. So there you have it. Miners are now working around the clock to dig BNB for me and throw it in my barrel for me to either collect or reinvest each day for either a quicker return of assets or a larger asset return each day, respectively. All right, be sure to check out part four where I demonstrate how to use the crypto.com app, which can make all of this a lot more efficient and cheaper, as well as part five where I break down the compounding. See you then.